With the car concept and other concepts I have, you know what? Screw the whole industry. I, I'm not gonna play your game. I'm just gonna do it better now, right? That would be nice for everybody, but I'm pretty conservative. So I think, I think more people should be like me. Yes. Social media and what that means for social political movements and how you make a difference. Well, I thought today I'd do a little bit of a review on the last three months of doing The Golden Shovel, with yours truly, and where am I going? What have I learned? I think it's important. I think it's important for everybody out there that wants to make a difference. They want their voice and their efforts in life to have merit and meaning, which actually is what our entire government's supposed to do with having representatives of the people, not just representatives of big everything industry, shall we say. In any case, I've been doing the Golden Shovel for about three months now, and what many of you probably didn't notice is, look at my videos. If the windows behind me are lit up, it's daytime. <laughs> if they're not, it's nighttime. The vast majority of my videos I have to shoot at night because I actually have a life or am a person who can't just magically exist in your TV or phone box. So the reason it has to be nighttime is, you know, come around six o'clock, it's time to start doing bedtime and dinner things with the kiddo. And then when the kiddo is in bed, it's time to start doing dinner and things with the wife. Now that's assuming I've done something worthwhile with my day in terms of life, business, the shop, working on projects, working on the house, um, being with my family, helping students, mentoring people in Genius Garage or anything else. So this channel is something new. For me to do something new, I either have to make time or I have to take away time from something else. Well, as with anything, it, it's going to bite in a little bit to your life, but I don't want to take away from family and you got to keep the ball moving forward and you got to keep your head above water at least to look around while you're doing it. So it happens at night. So typically I'll come into this garage somewhere in the area of 8 o'clock p.m. And that's when I have to go through my notes or dictionaries, etc., and then record a video. Now, if I'm going to record a video and edit it and get it out, that all happen, has to happen in one night, which means most likely I'm not getting bed to bed until 1.30 or 2 in the morning. Now, when you put out five videos a week, okay, guys, I'm going to be real with y'all. That's, one can muster through with that with a lot of drive and determination and heart for a long time. But after a few months of working to one or two in the morning, five nights a week, and having been working in some capacity since 9 a.m., and not getting to just have a break and be quiet because you have a kid and a wife, uh, married people will know what I'm th saying, I think, uh, and then having to utilize your weekend for God knows what else, that's difficult <laughs> after a while. Now, I say that, I don't mind something difficult, however, with me having to communicate with all of you, talk about important ideals and concepts, my delivery matters if people are going to find it palatable or interesting enough that the information matters to them and means something to them. Now, the difficulty with talking about deep subjects that are difficult and trying things of our time or potentially emotional, emotionally heated because we care and things are going to hell in a handbasket out there right now, you know, when you do that late at night and you're tired versus, shall we say, I don't know, right after lunchtime or, you know, between meals in the morning, I promise you, even though you try to do the same delivery, it's not going to be the same delivery. The tonality of your voice will change. Uh, and for me, doing it late at night when I'm tired and trying to be efficient and get the job done, I'm going to be less entertaining and easy to connect with. I'm going to be more brash. I'm going to be more direct. I'm going to have more point which has its place at times, but frankly, I don't think that works for this channel. I don't think that works for the general populace, and I don't think that's the best foot for me to put forward. Okay, so let's flip-flop it. And I'm, I'm obviously talking about myself, but in a way that I hope is understandable for you all when you're trying to plan or do something, or at least understand what's going on out there. Okay, let's say I do my channel during the day, uh, where I have a better presentation, and then have to work on everything else at night. That's hypothetically doable, but not if I have to make phone calls and do office things, uh, or if I have to work on things with others or communicate anything else. 
So that's tough because those things generally have to happen during the day. Now, as a note with regard to the golden shovel, this is, this is tough because it has to be thought of as a business. Anybody out there that's watching this now and just, oh no, just keep going forward. We really like you're doing it's all heart, yay. Okay, you're either broke or you're not broke. And if you're not broke, it's because you don't go by that piece of advice for anything that relates to time and business. And if you are broke, you should analyze that sentiment because that's what's making you broke. Um, you, you can't do that. And even if you don't have to worry about money at all and making a living or any other people, and you're just fabulously wealthy and can do whatever you want, your time matters and your time investment needs to create the best ROI. It needs to grow. It needs to go somewhere. So business is business, whether you're rich or poor, the same basic considerations and investments of time, money, or any resources have to be considered. And for me, I'm considering those because what I'm not interested in doing is putting all of this effort in uh, and resources in of my own and just leave it to the magic of YouTube. Because the problem with YouTube is they give you analytics, but the analytics are kind of trash because the things you really need, they're not going to tell you to, to know where it's going to go, to know how people are reacting. You can know a little bit, but it's still, they still completely hide anything that's good from you to know if it's going to work. And I'm not okay with just working for a year or two or three and, and hoping YouTube cares. I'll put it that way. Uh, and no, it doesn't just doesn't magically grow. And I appreciate you guys watching and you guys, of course, are biased because you found something you enjoy in this channel. But that doesn't mean the rest of the populace won't. We all could just be weirdos. And it's important for this presentation to matter out there if it's going to grow for any kind of values that are put into these uh, considerations, concepts, and messages to matter and make a difference. And if they can't and don't, then I and we are putting our time into the wrong thing and we need to find a way to alter it to have the best positive effect or do something different. So on that note, I'm gonna take a step back from this right now and I'm gonna say it's a break. The reason being is I've got stuff I gotta take care of and I can't keep doing this two in the morning crap. Uh, I frankly would very much like to just do this golden shovel thing full time uh, and for my car related things to be a hobby. Uh, and for what I do with Genius Garage to be something of a hobby. Um, but I, at, at this very moment, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to keep getting there. At this very moment, what I've created is not enough to get over that hump and change, flip the two curves, if that makes any sense. And if I just keep going down this path, I'm leaving it to chance with YouTube, which is garbage. Leaving things to chance is how people go absolutely nowhere. So... I think I am going to put my car channel, or at least all the best stuff on my car channel, over to try the Rumble platform as well. Uh, I think I am going to take this over to Rumble as well. That takes a lot of time. Uh, and frankly, I have no more time during the day, especially going into the summer, with doing this channel and that. So for me to consider working on other platforms too, I'm going to have to throttle back from this. Now, with regard to my car channel, I am frankly gearing up to come back to the channel and provide some good content. Uh, I, I no longer care about anything that rocks the boat in the car world at all. And the only part of the car world where I'm okay with that is the Omega car, where I built that recyclable high efficiency car. I'm going to rock the boat with that. I'm going to push that because I think it matters for everybody. But when it comes down to collector cars or exotic cars or racing of any level, I don't want to say I just don't care, but it does not matter because I, I don't think any of that is worth it to be rocking the boat out there. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm just gonna do some nice builds that I think that matter. Uh, I am gonna show the Omega car, and on occasion I'm gonna show Genius Garage because that still matters. And frankly, the only thing that's kept that nonprofit alive is the exposure through social media and the connections thereof. The government doesn't give a crap. No Democrat gives a crap because all they wanna do is bull crap for power. Uh, and the industry doesn't care because they are only about the profit margin, want to find somebody else to do it or leverage it. And academia doesn't care because they found the perfect model over the last 50 years to build families out of student loans you can't default on and take money from wealthy donors so their idiot professors can get tenure and just write papers that really do nothing for anybody uh, and get money from industry. So 
I am going to keep doing my channel because it's one thing that helps make that matter. So you all know about it and we can do something of actual tangible meaning out there. And hopefully one day I either get smart enough to figure out how to get other people and or entities involved in backing things of value from the Omega car to Genus Garage um, in a way that doesn't mutate it to something terrible, or I become miraculously wealthy enough on my own to kickstart and launch good things, even if other people, I'm going to not say something snarky and underhanded, even if other people uh, feel that they would like to utilize their time on earth differently and have different <sighs> valuations of the future, even if they're not around. Ah, uh, yes, I think I said that well. So that's kind of it there, guys. Uh, another passing thing I'd like to say in regard to the last three months of being saturated in the social political land of social media. The nature of all social media platforms is to keep people addicted. To keep people addicted and on their platform, you effectively have to keep them um, kind of keep those guitar chords and strings strummed with the lowest common denominators of human existence, usually the negative emotions from greed, lust, anger, um, jealousy, all, basically those are all the things that keep people on social media. So it's not constructive. Now I bring that up because that is also a reality that faces anything that could be considered constructive. Now I personally think in the time we're at right now, the liberals have gone nuts to tear down and dismantle society only for the sake of power, for their power, and to keep people oppressed. I say that because they're not actually doing anything of real value to move anything forward for anybody. And we live in a crap time. So I think it's very important for everybody to go, whoa, pump the brakes. Let's get a little conservative together so we can get back to something good and not just destroy everything we have, because that never works. Uh, now, that being said, I think the entire Democrat Party in the United States is absolutely and completely shanghaied by special interests from all of the big industries, from the military industrial complex to big pharma to education, and frankly infiltrated by global leftist powers that genuinely want to destroy all of the social fabrics of the United States for power, period. So I hate the Democratic Party right now. Um, they're garbage. And I see no one from that party of any value whatsoever. Uh, We'll come back to Kennedy. He's an interesting thing. The Republican Party is obviously conservative, but they have their heads so far up their own ass. I don't think they know what the future looks like. Now, the problem with that is, is conservatism is great. That's how we keep good things good. But you, you also have to do some positive things moving it forward for tomorrow, because the truth of the matter is just doing the same thing forever isn't hypothetically possible. So we can't just be head in the sand idiots not changing anything like, Derp, we're never going to change nothing. We're never going to think about nothing. We're never going to do nothing. Uh, otherwise, you're an idiot. Um, and I think that needs to be not representative of conservatives in America. I'll give you an example. I like cars that go fast. I think the EPA should go the hell away from motorsports. I like the Second Amendment, and I don't think government intervention, all that thing matters. I'm pretty damn conservative. I also think abortion is killing a baby and it's just because you can't see or talk to it yet. Uh, and we could always talk about more of that. So I'm pretty darn conservative. There's a however. I also spent a lot of time in my life building a fully recyclable car concept that's super high efficient, that would be less environmental impact and a lot cheaper to build because it's good for everybody and cool. Uh, you know, and if we do things like that, that people can afford, uh, that have less impact in the environment, maybe we'll get smarter and make better things manufacturing wise. And maybe all the idiots will get off our back so we can enjoy cool old stuff like this. Right? That would be nice for everybody. But I'm pretty conservative. So I think, I think more people should be like me. Yes. <laughs> I mean, why not? Take care of the good things, people, a nation, and the values that matter. But let's think of the future and do something. Now, the problem with the mega car, of course, is the nature of manufacturing in the automotive industry is no, not really any different than military industrial complexes is, or big pharma, or big agriculture. It's kind of screwed in its own way 
of its big entity that you can't really change. So with the car concept and other concepts I have, you know what? Screw the whole industry. I, I'm not going to play your game. I'm just going to do it better now. Uh, and that's the way I look at it. So I'm not even going to argue or get into the talks about all that because I'm just going to go so far as to say the entire automotive industry is garbage. <laughs> and the way we manufacture cars is garbage. And the way that they're forcing everybody to think that internal combustion versus electric cars is only a, bi is a, is, is a partisan matter of Republicans versus Democrats. And that's stupid on both sides. Both electric and gas uh, or internal combustion have its place in the world now all over the world for different purposes. And the fact that we've turned that into a political war is absolutely idiotic for both sides and everybody, period. I'm not gonna play your game and you can all go shove that up your ass. Yes, I feel like me again. See, it's the day. So anyway, guys, I am gonna throttle back on this channel. Um, and to be honest, and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna be real, it's getting so few of views. It doesn't really matter if I take a break for a while. I appreciate you guys being in here, and I'll be bummed not to connect with you. It's fun to connect in the comments, and I think I will come back. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got to help some Genius Garage students and do that this year. That's going to take up my bandwidth. Uh, frankly, I need to keep thinking about what I'm doing in the future. Uh, so many of the things that I tried over the last three years uh, to move the ball forward or build a bigger uh, connection or a partnership or do business, Long story short, for one reason or another, uh, my fault or other people's fault, choices or not decisions, across the board, nothing worked. Nothing worked, all failed. <laughs> I guess that's the nature of being an entrepreneur. Problem is when you do that, you spend lots of time trying to do something bigger and newer uh, and nothing works. Uh, you spend a lot of time not doing what you normally do. So you kind of have to get back to basis and move forward. I am thinking of utilizing my car channel uh, and frankly building a high-end car restoration slash service shop. I do know 70s to 1990s Ferraris um, and Lamborghinis and old Vipers and some other weird cars that nobody really works on. So I think it might make sense to do that. I'm going to be perfectly honest that that is not my dream at all. And I already know all the pitfalls with that and I know it, which is probably the reason why I would do well at it. But I am a creative entrepreneurial type that frankly thinks a lot bigger than that. And so if I'm going to do a shop like that, first of all, no racing. <laughs> Racing's dumb. Uh, street cars are great. So I'd have to have the right people and or young mechanics that are good that want to do something together. Um, we'll see if that can happen, but that's not a dream. That's not where I want to go, and I think I can do a lot more than that. So the Omega car matters. Uh, I'm going to try with that really hard. Uh, but I hate to say this, but I'm going to be honest for younger guys out there. You know, I am middle-aged, which is a great time of your career because you still got energy and uh, still have some sparkle in your eye uh, and still relatively healthy, and you're going to do what, what you want. But at the same time, if you don't have any traction, you got to do something. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I, I am thinking of doing an automotive restoration shop, but I guess what I was trying to say, a long winded way of saying, I'll have to find the inspiration to do that because fixing up other people's fancy street cars was a lot more exciting to me when I was 20. And it's not as exciting to me now. That might be why I'd be good at it, because it'd be all business. So anyway, so I'm thinking of that. And uh, in terms of Golden Shovel and being social political talking head, that's very important to me uh, because we live in a horrific time and I am genuinely every day watching the United States truly fall apart and be destroyed. I don't know how to get that back, but I do know that we all have to get up and talk about it and push back for the absurdities. Uh, however, I, at the time being, I don't think the golden shovel is the most valuable usage of my effort to do that. Uh, so I got to figure out the most powerful way to help the culture. Does that make sense? We only have so much time. We only have so much money. We only have so many resources and friends. And we got to figure out how to put things together that create the best good for the future uh, while looking after your own life 
and hopefully creating something of a return for yourself and others, whatever that may be, so that everybody stays with it. So I'm working on it, but I'm gonna have to throttle back on this channel. Got some great ideas and topics that I'll come back to, uh, and I hope you guys will comment below, uh, just share thoughts, ideas, whatever. Uh, and uh, if you're not subscribed to Casey the Car Guy, which is my car channel, uh, do that also, because I'm gonna start posting there. And that's all I got. I'm probably long winded in this video, because I didn't really want to make this video. I just wanted to keep moving forward with everything full throttle. And I'm probably enjoying this moment and don't want it to be the end for a while. So that's why I'm rambling. In any case, you guys go have your day. See you next time.